Russia against Slovakia. An amazing lineup here. Crystal, Chippy, BBB against you, Matt, bro. Left Jack, great player against Rainy. Then Skills against Kusek, Jasper Fox against Dodo. And Zerto Hike against Fly Skiller. Russia against Slovakia. Ghost. Chippy starts off with a ghost and so does Crystal and they're each, each one claims their own lane. And then Chippy with a miner and also Crystal with a miner. It's like they use the same deck. Let's see. And the bandit. Okay. Looks like they use the same deck. Really weird. Crystal walking to the other lane and then there's a Pekka. So a difference there. We'll see. We'll see. Pekka shredding the, the miner. Minions. Minions against Pekka. Whenever I try to do this, the minions die instantly because there's other minions or zap or whatever. Miner on the tower goes against the miner and the minions. Yeah, good push there for Chippy. JP for Slovakia and the bandit crosses the bridge supported by the ghost and now only the ghost arrives. Ghost turning around going for the bandit and ghost being killed. So far so good. Another bandit electro wizard on the bridge. Minions versus electro wizard. Minions going for the tower. And triple digits. The tower is in triple digits. Because both of the teams need the win here. We'll see. Pekka versus Pekka. It's almost a mirror match here in the first one. However, <laughs> not exactly. There's small differences here. Like the lock instead of the sap. And uh, there's poison. Uh, besides that, it's pretty similar, actually. <laughs> A thumb struck here. Here comes another Pekka and minions for defending. For defending. Pekka versus Pekka. Pekka shredding the Pekka. Minions going against the Pekka. They're at the tower. Yeah, it looks like Chippy. Chippy's on a good way here in the first one. Bandit. Bandit Miner. Bandit distracted by the Miner. Giving the Ghost some more time to go for the Miner that Crystal has been playing. And now Crystal very pushy with the Pekka. And Chippy just uh, sacrificed a Bandit there. Just sacrificed that Bandit. Of course the Pekka is very dangerous and you better defend that Pekka. Now there's a Bandit too. And Chippy. Oh, the Pekka hits! Pekka hits the tower. That's never a good sign if that happens. And the miners at the tower. Great push here by Crystal. And yeah, miners still doing cheap damage. And the tower's on 339. On 339. Wow. Ghost against Electro Wizard. Now the miners on the tower. And the poison. It's very close. Very close. Poison lock. Is that enough already? 73, it's going down. No, 46 left. And now if that miner hits, Crystal wins. 1-0 for Crystal. <laughs> wow. I just can't. I cannot. <laughs> There's a ghost. Again, playing ghost. And Zappis. Zappis. Chat turns Russian here. <laughs> and no, I can't speak Slovak either. <laughs> I can't. I have no clue what you guys type in there. So be nice. I mean, YouTube is banning comments automatically. Twitch is not. Probably. Oh, yes, it is actually. Lumberjack running for the tower. Getting one hit only. There's an Infernal Dragon. Zap is Infernal Dragon is connected here for Crystal. And taking the tower. What a fast push here by Crystal. 
What a fast push by Crystal. And now on the King Tower. Oh, wow. It looks like JP got disconnected there. Somehow JP got disconnected. But the rules are clear on this. If you get disconnected, it's your problem. That's what the rules say. Thanks, Polish Flow, for the host. Okay, match between BBV and Yo Mad, bro. <laughs> You have to you have to think a question mark there. You mad, bro? <laughs> or an exclamation mark. You mad, bro? So either of those two options work. You mad, bro against V V V. V V V. You mad, bro against V V V. The giant going for the tower. And one hit. That's it, and the hunter's still good. Hunter going for the tower. Hunter's on the tower shooting, and now with a miner supporting with a miner and the guards. What is your mad bro doing there? He's not playing. He's leaking all the elixir. What the heck is wrong? Slovakia is connected again. I don't know. It's weird. He's not playing. He's not playing. Thanks for stream, man. You're welcome, MTNTX. What's wrong here? Giant and Hunter at the King Tower. Yo Mad Bro is not doing anything. And there's another three crown. Wow. It seems that Slovakia has some connection issues. Oh, I haven't noticed. He played Rascals and they are banned. Ah, that's why. BBB <laughs> against Yo Mad Bro? <laughs> You mad, bro! Against BBV. Ghost. Now we hope you mad, bro, does not have rascals. And no pekkas this time. That's very annoying if this happens to you. I can... I, I, I feel him there. I think he's very angry now at himself for having the rascals in the deck and playing them. Rocket on the tower. And guards. Guards. The guards. Goblin gang, I mean. Goblin gang and the golem being attacked by the mega main golem still at the tower going to death damage. Good push here for PvV again. If the golem goes trying to defend. And you mad bro playing the Sparky. Sparky against Golem. It could work, but if BBV rockets the Sparky, it won't work. So certainly an advantage here for BBV. BBV. Guards going against the giant. The giant taking a little bit damage only. That's okay. And now BBB with the Dark Prince. Dark Prince and the Sparky behind the giant. But there's the rocket. Hitting the Sparky. And the Mega Minion. Unfortunate. Now the giant is at least at the tower. Basically, uh, your mad bro doesn't have a bad chance. Because the giant is faster than the golem. And if he plays it without any mistake... And is a little bit lucky. He can actually win. He can win this. It's not 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 easy to say that BBV has a stronger deck here because Giant is faster than the Golem if played properly. Tornado. Tornado is such an annoying card for me. Tornado pulling the ghost to the King Tower. Now there's a Golem behind the King Tower and the Giant. I would actually recommend to play the Giant other lane. Especially because here the rocket is gonna hit the tower and the sparky. This was so obvious. This was so obvious. Little mistake there. And now he's trying to defend against the golem. Trying to defend against the golem. And big box Barry, thanks for the follow. And the golem is at the tower. That's gonna be tower here. And you mad bro. Can't really counter at the moment. Maybe dragon and guards, and now he plays all the lane, but it's too late. Again, he's playing, he's playing into the golem, which I think is not the best. It's not the best choice. There's the rocket again, killing the ghost and the sparky, and that's game. That's game for BVV, and it's already 2-0 for Russia. Is this going to be another fast one or is it going to be a reverse sweep? Actually, it's Mamar Man that accepted. Okay. 
Maybe it's not uh, reflected properly. Now left check a very strong player. That's quite a challenge here for Mamar, man. He's starting with a balloon and a miner. The miner a little late. The sap is miner defending the balloon like crazy. Did you see that? But then still the balloon went down already. But it was fun how that miner really defended the balloon over there. Now the electro is going against the Tesla. Tesla miner on the tower. Miner on the tower. Left check. Left check is behind, but that doesn't mean anything yet. Ice golem. Ice golem. Goblin gang. And infernal dragon. And a very early play of the infernal dragon there. Infernal dragon behind the ice golem. And now left check with more goblins. More goblins, but they're all gonna fail against the ice golem. I don't really know about that. There's a balloon push, Mamar man, playing a balloon. It was a spectacular defense there with the miner. <laughs> Defending the balloon against the goblins with the miner. That was spectacular. And now the balloon drops. It's just too much defense, but that was a very costly defense. And actually Mamar man ends up with a little, little elixir advantage there. About one, two, one or two elixirs there. And both of them pump in. Of course, Mummerman has an elixir advantage, so he will try to fill up his elixir. Ice Golem, minor push. And he defends with an Infernal Dragon and an Electro Wizard. Is that already preparing his next count push? Is that preparing the count? Tesla in front of the tower. And the balloon for support. On 592. Ice Golem. Ice Golem. It looks like a win here for Russia so far, but now Left Check is struggling. And may it be, may it be that the Waker just started the reverse sweep. Bats going against the balloon. Tesla stopping the balloon. And balloon. Yeah, they got them. What about the Infernal Dragon though? We have the Goblin Gang defending against the Infernal Dragon. Now the miner is on the tower. And the Electro is going against the Miner. Electro Wizard. Left check is behind. 264. The question is, what's the last card? If it's a rocket or a fireball? Mummer Man has already won. But he's not showing that last card yet. And he calls it good game. Because the Death Bomb. The Balloon drops his heavy load on the tower. And it's gone. And so Mummer Man takes the lead here. 1-0. Bomberman versus Left Jack. Goblin <laughs> Barrel. Goblin <laughs> Barrel. Now Lava Hound. Bomberman playing a Lava Loon deck. Let's go. Hard for defense. The Lava Hound is at the tower with the Mega Minion. The Mega Minion is very dangerous there. And then there's a Fireball. Just a moment, the Lava Hound explodes. Very good timing there of that Fireball. And so the Lava Pump is getting the tower into triple digits. The tower's on 794. 794 for Russia. Uh, for, for, for Mamar Man, for Slovakia. Another Lava Hound. We haven't seen Balloon. 
and Goblin Barrel by left Jack. Goblin Barrel on the tower. Yeah, that's a good Goblin Barrel. The Zap didn't kill it. And so left Jack taking the lead here in match number two. Now the Lava Hound crosses the bridge. Gonna be frozen, but that doesn't really hurt him there. Now the Mega Minion supporting Princess. Princess this time off reach. <laughs> hit by the fireball. At least that fireball didn't hit the tower. And now the lava puppy is distracted by the dark prince. Uh, st oh, they're on the tower. Frozen. And the princess has a lot to do there, but still can't kill them all. And so she's down to 164. Goblin barrel. And Lava Hound other lane. Yeah, he can fireball that one, so he's trying to push the next tower. Armor Man basically has one tower with a fireball, and that's why he's pushing other lane with the Lava Hound. This time the princess positioned in fireball range. Unfortunate. Goblin Barrel defended with the minions. Lava Hound, two princesses now. That's pro oh, another Lava Hound! A double Lava Hound! Double Lava Hound on the tower. Minions against the Dark Prince. There's the tower for Mama Man. Only 14 seconds to go. Left Jack also needs a fireball. But he's losing his left tower. There's the rocket. But he's losing his left tower too. Wow. That left tower is going way down. And man, there you go. Mama Man. An important w victory here for Slovakia. It's 2-1 now. Next one, CSAQ against Skills, Skill against Kuse, <laughs> Goblin Barrel, Dark Prince, Lava Hound, that's what we see here on the map, Skills push it, getting some damage, Kuse playing Lava Loon, the, oh, Lava Hound, the thing is, what we've seen in CR Nation and what's really surprising, there's many, many Lava Decks, Lava Loon decks especially. And there is also a lot of graveyard and a lot of minor being played at the moment in the current meta. It's probably decks they usually don't expect and that's why they play those kind of decks. But it's also kind of uh, being lucky or not being lucky because either you win or lose with those decks. It's kind of unpredictable and really depends on, on, what, on what your opponent plays. My spirit freezing that mega minion. Yeah, good lead here for skills. Now another lava loon. Lava push. Lava loon. No, a lava hound push. We got Dark Prince getting the tower. Good start for skills. Goblin barrel. Usek not defending the goblin barrel and that cost him the tower. There's the balloon. Yeah, he wanted to prepare his Lava Loon push, that's why he hasn't defended the tower. But let's see if that really sums up here with a tower exchange. It seems like. Yeah, Balloon still good. And now Lava Hump Balloon going for the King Tower. Unfortunately, the Balloon is up front. And now Skills playing the Rascals. Playing the Rascals. And good damage done to the King Tower, but yeah, don't forget, Kuzek is still behind. His left tower is on 770, and Skills dropping another Goblin Barrel. Kuzek is in a bad position here because his tower is on 4, 3, 2, 2, 22, and it's down. And then the Rocket defense, 30 seconds to go. Rocket killing the Balloon. He can't get to the Balloon. Skills, great defense there with the Rocket. Awesome rocket defense. Now, Kuzek trying once more with the Lava Hound. Lava Hound, Mega Minion. Mega Minion gonna go for the Rascal Boy first. And the Archers, the Archer Birds. Lightning. Yeah, six seconds. No way to win this here for Kuzek. It's 1 0 for skills. Kuzek against Skills. Paul banning Rascals. <laughs> Fight Club Esports. Hello. Yeah, everybody's banning the Rascals. Except for this match here, the Rascals are not banned. 
Goblin Gang behind the King Tower. Goblin Gang. And Goblin Gang going against the Tombstone. Goblin Barrel on the tower. And Log. Skills has the Log. Kusek. Spellbait. And Skills. Probably. You can't play Expo. Yeah, Poison Graveyard. There you go. Poison Graveyard on the tower. Bandit. Mega Minion on the bridge. Goblin Barrel. Yeah, he'll have the lock, I guess. No. He's not playing the lock here. Skills taking some damage. Avneath, thank for the follow. Thank you for the follow, Avneath. Ah. Yay. Princess behind the King Tower. And Boomstone for defense. Our prince on the bridge. Support by Rascals. Rascals. Rascal boy. Got a hit on the tower. Goblin gang for defense. Graveyard. Graveyard on the tower and with poison. And Kuzak playing a defensive poison too. Defensive poison so the skellies can't do, do too much damage. Most damage is done by the poison. The goblin barrel going on the tower and it's locked away instantly. Yeah, it's a tough matchup for Kuzak. Like skills has all the counters. But also Kuzak does have counters against Graveyard Poison. He's got Dark Prince, he's got Goblin Gang, he's got Rascals. All of those could count to the Graveyard. Another Graveyard on the tower. And again defended with Poison. Triple ditch, it's Dark Prince push with a bandit and a lock. There's also the Ice Golem, but that one's going down and now they're going against Rascals, Dark Prince and the bandit. Prince is being locked, skills place is very aggressive and let's see if that works. There's another graveyard, Goblin Barrel and defensive poison on the graveyard. But the Rascal Boy is there, the Rascal Boy is there to support. And poison and the tower going down and we're in overtime so the match is over. Skills playing very strong here. Skills playing so strong against Kusek and it's 3-1. Dodo against Jasper Fox. Mortar. So I'm expecting the Mortar Rascal, but aren't Rascals a banned card? They're not displayed at the moment, but I don't know. Dodo against Jasper. Jasper. The Miner is on the tower there. So far, no clear advantage. Dodo playing Rascals Goblin Hut. And Jasper Fox with the Mortar and Miner. Another mortar. Mortar. Goblin gang. Oh, locked away. Pumped away. Pumped away. Lock. Now that mortar's gonna connect to the tower. Dodo. Yes. Just on time. Playing that goblin hut. But the mortar is already connected to the tower. Doing damage at the tower. And the mortar's doing a lot of damage. You don't want that. It's doing so much damage. Look at this. 1268. Order. 
a nice switch there between the defensive mortar and the offensive mortar. And that one's been poisoned. Now all those small units going for the tower. Jasper Fox in the lead. Guys, don't forget, this is already match point. It's already match point. Or Russia. Actually, this match here. But of course, Jasper needs to win two games for that. Order. Rascals. And the minion hole. Our ball. Another mortar. The Adobo trying to get that tower. And he also has to defend the mortar. It's only eight seconds for Dodo. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One zero for Jasper. Dodo against Jasper. This is match point for Russia. Match point for Russia. Holy bananas. That was a fast one. That was a fast one. Dodo has to win now. He wants to win, of course. Mega Minion defending against Minion Horde. What is Jasper gonna play? Dodo with a Miner. Miner is at the tower. Goblin Gang defending. Miner getting a little bit of chip damage only. And now Jasper also playing the Miner. Jasper playing the Miner too. Jasper. Hunter. Hunter versus the Rascals. Oh, the, the Mortar! Jasper's taking to the Mortar. And the Mortar immediately connects to the tower. Since when is Mortar such a strong deck for tournaments? Minions and the Mortar connected to the tower. Dodo. Yeah, now Dodo has to do something. He has to be very quick. The thing here is... Uh, Miner has a disadvantage against Mortar because um, he would basically use Mo Miner to uh, attack the Mortar, so he cannot use his win condition. There's a Giant. Actually, with Giant against Mortar, he should have better chances. He can block the Mortar. He's at the Mortar, taking it. Giant, still good. And his poison was also there, and now he's at the tower. Wow, look at Dodo getting the tower to 231 with that giant. And now another hunter on the way. Nice lock. Hunter versus the rascal boy and shoots him up close. Nice zap. Dodo just needs to play a poison and live for 50 seconds. Live for 50 seconds. There's the miner. 45 seconds to go here for Dodo. No mistake now. Mortar in the left lane. Blocked by the giant. That's what I meant. You can really counter the mortar well with the giant. And he played it smart. He didn't show the giant too early. He made it look like he struggled. Like a psychological game there. He made it look like he struggled against mortar. And then all of a sudden he pulls out that giant. Which is really strong against the mortar. Mortar will take so much shells to kill the giant, so the giant usually will get to the mortar. And now he's pushing right lane. It's over anyway. Seven seconds, six seconds. So Dodo will play once more against Jasper. Another match point. Maybe it's just the start of an insane reverse sweep. Here's another match point. Match point for Russia. Hunter against the Hog Rider. Match point for Russia. Dodo has all the pressure. He needs to win. Hunter crossing the bridge. And now they're waiting. Pump in. We don't know Dodo's deck. It's minor poison, probably. But we don't know all the cards. Could also be minor giant. Minor giant has been very popular recently. There you go. There's the giant. 
And Jasper has the Inferno Dragon. That's unfortunate. Can Dodo overcome this? The child did not even get a hit. It did not even get a hit. Inferno Dragon, Hawk Rider. Yeah, this looks good for Jasper. Very good for Jasper. Or Russia. Dodo has to think of something. He, he calls it good game. Why is that? Maybe it's just good play. Did you actually know that the, in, the translation is not always the same? Like, good game means like the game is over, but uh, in German it's uh, like you played this well. <laughs> so it's not really the same meaning. Dark Prince. Our prince versus the lumberjack. A lumberjack. If you're not careful, a lot one lumberjack can take a full tower. Fireball hog rider. Yeah, he's he's having trouble with that hog there. That hog is always getting to the tower, and this is match point for Russia. So Dodo, it's all up to you. <laughs> it's all up to you. And minor mega minion against the Inferno Dragon. Inferno Dragon again gonna burn that giant. It's unfortunate for Dodo. He cannot get to the tower, and this is match point. And he wants to win so desperately, but it's almost impossible. It's almost impossible to win against that stuff here. It's almost impossible. Another Hog Rider. Unfortunate deck matchup. Pump and the Golem are the banned cards in this match. Now, Dodo playing another giant Dark Prince. It is that Infernal Dragon though, and Poison will not do enough damage to kill it on time. The giant gets burned anyways. Miner, Miner on the tower. There's a Fireball, the tower's not down yet, but there's the Log, and Miner cannot do enough damage. And this match is over. This match is over, and Russia winning. Four, see, uh, four, one, four, one.